Saxon Algebra 1 half, Lesson 104, we are taking a break from algebra to do a little geometry, mixing that in. We're going to talk about triangles, classifying them, and talking about the angles within them. On page 322, I'll just show you. You don't have to go get your book. Um, can you see the whole page? Ish. Ish. Um, there are, let's see if I put this up, I think you can see better. Here are three ways of classifying triangles by describing the angles. A right triangle has a perfect square in one corner. An obtuse triangle has two little ones, but one fatty, one that's bigger than a right triangle. And in an acute triangle, all of them are less than 90 degrees, okay? So obtuse sounds like obese, kind of. So it's kind of a fat angle, and acute means all three are small and cute. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this row of triangles is talking about not the size of the angles, but the lengths of the sides. So notice we're using these little tick marky things. Um, equilateral means equal sides. All three sides are exactly the same. That's what those little marks mean. Isosceles means two of the three are the same. So these two match, but this guy's different. And scalene means it's a free-for-all. Every length is a different side. Okay, if two sides of a triangle have equal lengths, the angles opposite those sides have equal measure. So let's look at that in an isosceles triangle first. That's where it's easiest to see it. Isosceles has two sides that match and a third side that doesn't. These two angles are gonna be the same because this dude and his matching angle are the same as this dude and his matching angle, right? Opposites go together. This angle and his matching side, they're oddballs. They don't match at all. So in isosceles, we can see that pattern about how this side and his angle are gonna be the same as this side and that angle. All right, and in an equilateral, everybody's the same as everybody else. So all three angles are the same and all three sides are the same. All right, cool. Now, that's the way we can classify triangles. That's, um, we can classify them by angle size and we can classify them by the length of the sides. Okay, so it's two different ways, two different um, aspects of the triangles that we can sort them by. Now, here's a cool thing about triangles. No matter what size or shape the triangle is, the three inside angles always add up to 180 degrees. Always, 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 always. So we can do lots of fun little math problems with that. For example, here's a wonky obtuse triangle. My brain wanted to say the wrong word so badly. Um, I had to fight with it. We define the angles as A, B, and X, and we're told that angle A is a mere 20 degrees, and angle B is a hefty 130, and we're asked, but what's angle X? Easy, we know they have to add up to 180, so we take 180 and we subtract those two. Those two add to 150. 150 from 180 tells us that X has to equal 30 degrees. So cute, right? So simple. So let's look at a couple more of these. Example 104.1. I do recommend that you do a quick sketch of these. When you're doing the homework, it get oh wow, it gives your brain a little break from the numbers and it helps you notice what's going on in the triangle. The letters aren't super important, they just help frame the question. Um, a, we find out, is 40 degrees, and B, we find out, is 60 degrees. Degrees are this weird um, form of measurement. We're going to learn more about them as we go. If it weirds you out to be talking about degrees, just try not to think about it. It's just a way of measuring. Oh, it's a way of measuring um, 
angles. And for now, just know that there's 180 in a triangle. Um, okay, and then this is 60. Okay, so we're supposed to find the measure of the way John phrases it is angle BCA. Well, what even is angle BCA? The way we do it is we go to the points in that order. B, C, A. So he's talking about this angle, which makes sense. But the B, C, A helps us lock in on that. All right, we know they have to add up to what's the magic number? 180. These add up to 100. So we just do 180 minus 100 equals 80 degrees is our answer. Yay. Okay, let's try another. How many are there? There's just three in this lesson. What is the measure of angle B? And here we have 50 and 45. Uh, this is, I got a, a B and an A and a C. Okay, those add up to 95, so it's 180 minus 95, which would be 85 degrees for angle B. And one more, 104.3. This one is my favorite. The other ones are, I mean, they're too easy, Caleb. Let's be honest. I know you're just sitting there going, really? Really? A, B, C. This time, we don't get numbers in the picture. We get that. Hmm. They're either very short, stubby little T-Rex arms, or they're tick marks indicating that those two sides are the same length. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, let's say they're both. Let's say they're T-Rex arms and tick marks because I don't want to let go of the whole T-Rex arms thing. Um, but the information tells us that angle B, which I'm going to abbreviate like this, angle B measures 110 degrees. What are the measures of angles A and C? Okay, so we're supposed to find out these two. So I'm gonna write angle A equals and angle C equals. That reminds me of what the questions are. All right, this one is 110. All right, how the heck are we supposed to know how much these are? We know they have to add up to 70, right? Because 180 minus 110, 70 for the two of them. But how do we know how much is angle A and how much is angle C, right? Well, these little T-Rex arms are the answer. If these sides are the same, we know there's a relationship between the side and the opposite angle, right? So that means that if these sides are the same, then their little corresponding angles must also match. So that tells us that A and C have to be the same size. So if we take the amount that's left, right? We take 180 minus 110, that gives us 70. 70 has to be split evenly between A and C. So 70 divided by two equals 35. So that tells us that both of these must be 35 degree angles. That way they'll be the same. And together with angle B, they'll add up to 180. Yay, that's the right answer. That to me is a little bit more of an interesting problem because you have to figure out what those little hash marks mean. Okay, that's lesson 104. We're done. Caleb, we're going so fast. We're going to be done in no time. That makes me sad. But there's always next year. We'll have more fun waiting for us. Oh, my book's crooked. I hope you can see that all right. Okay, goodbye.